Hello, and welcome to our demonstration on our STN QuickBooks POS to Web Sync system. Uh, if you go onto the STN website, you'll see that we've got some information about this POS to Web Sync. And basically what it is, is we've got a component that will allow you to automatically push your data from QuickBooks POS to your STN website. You'll be able to push your product pricing and your product inventory. Let's jump right in. Um, if you wanted to sign up for QuickBooks POS Sync, um, let your project manager know or go directly to the sign up page here. Um, there is a one-time charge of $150 for this special component, but you can always sign up for the free 30-day trial here on the page. Just complete the information and submit, and we'll get you your key for your website component, QuickBooks Sync. So once you log into the back end of your website, if you go to the components drop down, we'll go to QuickBooks Sync here to access the component. Before you get your key, you'll get this page here telling you about it um, and that you have to have a key. Um, while you're waiting for your key, you might as well go ahead and install the required but free QuickBooks Web Connector. So click on the link here. You go to the Intuit page and download and install the QuickBooks Web Connector. Easy as that. Let's say you go ahead and get your key first. I'll just pull up a SOP sample here. Paste that in. What happens is that you'll get to the QuickBooks Sync component here, um, where you'll have no longer see the key registration, but you'll get the QuickBooks files for QuickBooks Sync files. So the first thing we need to do is still make sure we get that um, QuickBooks Web Connector installed. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the Help button. From the Help button, you'll be able to scroll here to our QuickBooks Web Sync component on the bottom. And installing the QuickBooks Web Connector, this link here, will take you again to the same Intuit homepage where you can install that connector. Okay, let's go back a step. Um, in the QuickBooks Web Sync, after we've gotten our key, we need to first thing to do is create a connection file. To do that, we'll go to the QuickBooks Sync component here and then click New. And we're going to put in our information, username. I'm just going to put test user for my sample. You'll want to put whatever username you want. And I'm going to put in my password and verify it. Make sure that these are the same. You'll need to Keep in mind that uppercase and lowercase are precise, so make sure that you enter them correctly. And you'll need to enter it again once you set up that web component on the computer side. So we next need to enter our computer name. That is actually gotten from your computer that has the QuickBooks component installed on it. So we need to go to our computer control panel. And under System. You just scroll down, and the computer name here, Video Station PC, is this computer's name. Easy way to get that is to go to the Change Settings here, select the full computer name, and copy that. I'll just cancel out of this. I don't want to actually change anything here. And I'll just paste that into my field here. The company name is the QuickBooks Company file. Um, the easiest way to get that, let me jump over to our Help page here show you where that's at. Um, on the help page, you can find entering your company name information, give you a little sample. In most versions of QuickBooks POS, you go to the file, company data, open, and you'll get your data file names. In this case, it's my POS 9. So we'll just go back here and enter that in. And with this version, Lord, we're going to say we're on QuickBooks 9. I actually don't have QuickBooks installed on this computer, so I'm running some simulations here to show it to you. Um, and then we'll put up um, our data settings for this connection script. We want it to push up inventory amount, definitely. We also want it to definitely push up pricing. And by default, we're going to go with the item number from QuickBooks. That all sounds great. So we'll click Save. Don't need to save the password for this guy. So now I've got my first QuickBooks sync file. I'll need to select it and then download it. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. 
So I've got a little um, virus scanner here telling me, yep, we've got that. And then we'll go ahead and open it to run it. Um, and when, as we're running this file, we're actually going to then select the OK on the authorization script here. You need to make sure when you're installing the uh, QuickBooks web service that you do that from the um, main administrative user of your QuickBooks POS system. OK, so we've installed the QuickBooks web sync and we've um, run our first sync file. Now let's take a look at what actually, actually what we're going to do here. Got a sample demo site here with the Groovy Girls product. And we'll notice that currently on the website it's 1249 and it's out of stock. So we want to use the QuickBooks web sync to update that. So first thing I'm going to do, um, as an example, in QuickBooks POS, I've got this product selected, and I've changed the price to $12.99 and updated the quantity on hand. Let's say I've got one in stock. So now I go and I open up my QuickBooks Sync file for the first time. Let's take a look at that sequence. Um, and it installs into Web Connector. Um, you may also be able to open Web Connector directly and then open your connection script. As the connection script here is listed as an application, what you want to do is select that instance and then enter your password that you created again making sure casing is correct and do 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 to where are we at here no, I jumped ahead a little bit there let me get back here for you guys so we enter our password and then we're going to click update selected button here what that's going to do is that's going to trigger the um, web connector to run its application it'll get a process process window um, script here and then when it's all done you'll show that it's completed and your status indicator here will be updated now if we go to our website and I'll update this page here give it a second you'll see that the price and the stock amount have uh, been synced up with our QuickBooks data what's being used to generate the data by the way is the QuickBooks item number but also the stock item number so make sure that those are identical between QuickBooks and your website if they're not they won't sync up they have to be identical okay so we've done that but what we really want to do is go back to our web connector and this time we want to set up an auto script so we'll again in web connector we'll select auto run for the web script and we'll give it a time duration in this case I'm going to give it every six hours so every 360 minutes and then again, we'll click Update Selected. And that will um, activate to those settings. So now, every six hours, as long as QuickBooks Connector is running, it'll run this connection script for you. So what have we got? We've gotten an automated system from QuickBooks Point of Sale that will take all of our items and push them with their price and on-hand quantity up to website. As long as you've got an item number here that matches an item number on the website, that corresponding data will be updated on your website and you're synced, ready to go. Again, that's the QuickBooks POS sync component for your Specialty Tours Network website. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed this useful tool.